If you're someone that follows my channel, you might remember that recently I asked my viewers to send me pictures of what gun they carry and how they carry it. I thought I'd get a couple dozen pictures, maybe I'd turn into a video illustrating what guns everyday people carry and how they actually carry them. Well, it turns out that was a huge mistake. Uh, I did not get dozens of pictures, I got hundreds of pictures. And what I had planned on being a single video is now going to have to be a series, which means I'm gonna have to work a lot more, which I don't like because I'm kind of lazy. But since I said I would do it, I'll do it. So today I wanna present what will be the first installment of my new series that I like to call Yankees Viewers EDC Rig Picks. Now we're going to start today with Brian. Now it's not going to take anyone out there a lot of detective work to figure out why I'm starting with Brian. He's carrying my favorite type of gun, a revolver. He's carrying one of my favorite revolvers, the Kiapa Rhino, and he's carrying in the manner that I prefer to carry, outside the waistband in a good leather holster. Now, although he's doing all these things right, I almost had to turn on him here because as I look at this picture, I think that maybe he's an abomination. He might be an affront to everything that's good and natural in the world because it appears he is left-handed. But I'm going to assume that this was taken in a mirror, that this is a mirror image of the real world and that he's really right-handed because I can't imagine someone that's left-handed would make such good decisions when it comes to their carry gun. But, you know, this is such a good decision that maybe even if he is left-handed, I'm willing to overlook that. Next, we have Dean from Florida. And I wanted to show him because he's doing... One thing that I'm not a big fan of, but I know some people do, and that is he's pocket carrying. And he's doing it in a way that's the best way you can do it. He's actually got something covering the trigger. And what he's carrying is probably my very favorite micro pistol, which is a C-Camp. And he's got it here at a little rig, one of these, uh, I guess they're called Mick holsters that covers the trigger guard. And when you actually grab the gun and pull it out of your pocket, the little string is attached to your belt or whatever and pulls the trigger guard off so that you can use the gun very quickly. Uh, like I say, not a big fan of pocket carry, but since it appears he's also wearing an underdog t-shirt there based on those feet, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, say he's got good judgment and knows what he's doing. Next, we have TJ from Texas. And he's using a typical inside the waistband holster, like a lot of people do use, but he's carrying a gun that I really like that I don't see a lot of people carry. So I wanted to show this one. He's carrying a Beretta 84 series gun. Now these are 380 pistols, but in my opinion, they're the best 380 pistol you can probably buy. They are easily up there with the SIG P232 and even a little better than the PPKs. So love his choice of gun here, although, I'm not a big inside waistband carrier. I personally don't do it. I know it's the way a lot of people choose to carry their gun. Next we have Eduardo. And Eduardo is carrying a very uh, unusual gun. Not unusual, they're around and everyone has probably seen them, but they just don't get a lot of credit. And I think they're actually really good guns, but a lot of people seem to overlook them for more modern, you know, plastic wonder guns. He's carrying a Smith & Wesson 4516. These are great little guns, and he's carrying it in a very traditional manner. He's carrying like I carry, you know, at about the three o'clock position in an outside the waistband leather holster. I do believe this one is a Tagua leather holster, but a very easy, simple way to carry. A lot of people don't like to carry outside waistband, but if you haven't done it, like I've said many times already, you're missing out because it is just really the easiest way to carry a gun, even a little bit larger gun, like one of these Smith & Wesson pistols. Next, we have Mark and Cody. Now, Mark is carrying a Kimber Micro 9, a gun that I am very interested in. I would really like to get one. I actually like them better than the SIG 938s. And he's carrying it in a very simple inside waistband Kydex holster with a single clip. Now, when you go down to Cody, he's carrying a little bit more unique of a gun. He's carrying a Lionheart Industries gun. Now these guns were being sold pretty heavy on YouTube for quite a while there. I never got into them because they have a manual safety, but to each his own. Now the holster he's using is not the single clip model. It's one that has more spread out clips, has two clips that are spread wider. I actually like these better because I think they're more stable. So I think he made a better choice with the holster, but I am glad to say one thing. Uh, if you can afford a gun, you can afford curtains, get the sheets off your window. This isn't a dormitory. 
Next, we have Brandon, and he is carrying, as you can see, a Glock. Now, he's carrying it in a holster that I personally don't care for, a type of holster I don't care for. He's carrying it in one of the generic cloth-type holsters. Uh, now, I don't like them because they don't give enough retention, in my opinion. He says he likes them because they don't wear the finish on his guns, and I can definitely understand that, and he's right. They don't wear finish on guns as bad as like a leather holster or a Kydex holster. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he's doing that because of that reason and not because he's a cheap bastard. Uh, although I might have to say, well, it looks like he did, couldn't even afford a belt buckle or at least wouldn't pay for a belt buckle, so maybe he is a cheap bastard, I guess unless his navel ate it, uh, which is a good sign here to, you know, Tuck your t-shirt in if you go take this kind of picture and wear another shirt over top. But otherwise, good choice of a gun. I'm not too sure about the holster, though. Next, we have Will. And I want to show Will for one very specific reason. And no, it's not his fashion sense. It's because Will is a skinny bitch. He's six foot three and he only weighs 175 pounds. That's borderline anorexic. And yet, he carries a large gun, a CZ-75 SPO-1 Tactical. That holds 20 rounds of 9mm total. So even though he's a skinny bitch, that gun right there is something he manages to carry, that big gun. So that illustrates two really big points here. One, why I hate him because he's a skinny bitch. And two, just because you're slender doesn't mean you got to carry a tiny gun. If he can do it, you can do it. Next we have Holly. The only woman on today's list, or at least I think so. I'm not real sure about some of the other guys. But uh, she's carrying a gun that I mentioned earlier, the SIG 938. Now, she's carrying in a way that I don't usually recommend, small of the back. I think it's a very dangerous way to carry, but she is a woman. And a woman's body is different than a man's. I probably don't have to tell that to some of you out there, but based on a lot of the comments I get in my videos, there's probably a lot of you that I do actually have to tell that women's bodies are different than men. So it's harder for a woman to carry, I think. Uh, I wouldn't want to be a woman and have to try to carry a gun. Now, I'm not saying that it's bad to be a woman. I'm just saying I wouldn't want to be one for one reason, because it's harder to carry a gun. And plus, heels are murder. Trust me, they're not fun to wear. So Holly's carrying... Small of the back, and we'll give her a pass because, like I say, I don't understand what it's like to have to carry as a woman. So uh, more power to you if you find a way to do it successfully without resorting to purse carry because I'm really not a big fan of purse carry. So more power to you, Holly. Next, we have a picture from Steven here. And even though he's not wearing the holster in this picture, I wanted to show it. Because, as you can see, it's a Sneaky Pete-style holster. These look like PDA cases or any other type of utility case you would wear on your belt, for those of us old enough to remember what a PDA is. Uh, these don't look like holsters. As you can see, he's got his car in here, and when he wears this, you're not going to see the outline of a gun at all. There's a flap that actually comes over it and closes. People might suspect what's in it, but there's no way they'd actually be able to know what's in it unless you opened it up. These are great for when you're dressed up, a suit or semi-casual or whatever. I just wanted to show this, even though he's not wearing it, just to let people know there are alternatives out there to traditional holsters. No matter what you're wearing, there's some way you could manage to carry a gun. And finally, here we'll show Jeremy. Now, Jeremy, as you can see, is dressed like he works at a bank, but he's still managing to carry protection. And by protection, I mean a handgun. He's carrying a CZ P07, which is one of CZ's polymer guns, and he's carrying it outside waistband. Usually, a lot of people think if they carry in a suit, they have to carry inside waistband. He obviously just doesn't take his jacket off or he wears a vest. So he's able to carry this decent sized carry gun in a way that's very comfortable to carry it, even though he's not wearing a sweatshirt and jeans or a Hawaiian shirt. Just goes to show you, just because you have to dress snazzy doesn't mean you can't be prepared. So there you have it. There's the first installment of Yankees viewers EDC rig picks. Keep your eyes opened for future installments coming up soon.